All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 483 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller. My voice is much better now. I've been nursing it for the past 24 hours. And as you can tell, it sounds much better. I thank everybody who's been, you know, weathering the storm with me, uh, you know, being patient with the content. I know I've been going crazy the last few days. I am so excited about what's going on. My last, the episode that was supposed to be this episode was going to give Coach uh, Clay Helton a grade. We all, well, I can say we all, but me, I gave him an A for his coaching performance this season. I think he did everything well for the most part. He handled a lot of things well. Even in the times when we lost, it was very frustrating, but he always got these kids back up to fight and continue to push on, and it got them a bowl bid. We beat Nebraska, you know, we beat James Madison that were ranked at the time, and now they're fighting for, uh, they, they're fighting to try to be uh, Sun Belt champs. So for us beating them, that's great. And we beat Appalachia State in dramatic fashion to make it to a bowl. And not only that, fresh off the press, we just got an, a, a commit, a tight end, Jaden McCall. I think I said that right. Dude looks like a stud. I can't wait to see what he does. Three-star recruit. Six foot four, 230 pounds. <laughs> look, dude, dude, I mean, dude looks, you need to go to his Twitter page and see what he looks like. Dude's like, a, dude like a monster. But nevertheless, Coach Clay Helton, A, would have got an A-plus if we beat um, Georgia State, but that's another story for another day. Let's talk about what's going on here with the transfer portal. It is going crazy right now. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm on Anchor Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, also on YouTube and Rumble if you want to watch the show. Uh, like I said, I thank you guys for being patient. Got a lot to talk about here. But I can't really get into all the kids that are in the transfer portal. It is too many, too many. And a lot of them have ties to Georgia Southern. A couple of cornerbacks. I know, uh, I think the quarterback from Michigan who's in the transfer portal portal. The quarterback from Michigan was recruited by Clay Helton. Now, I know the whole situation with the quarterback. I don't want to talk about that right now. I just want to talk about the transfer portal because the quarterback situation, me and the guys in the Discord, you can go click that link down in the description if you want to join the Discord. We talk to Georgia Southern all day long over there with a little bit of Falcon stuff too, but Georgia Southern all day for the most part. We've been talking about and having a debate about the quarterbacks. And I'm a little impartial, but I'm starting to understand what they're saying with possibly bringing another quarterback in with experience. I don't want to get into that right now. I just want to talk about the plethora of moves that could happen. We need help on defense. We need a lot of help on defense. Uh, We got some veterans that are leaving, some veterans not coming back. We got a lot of young guys. I would love to get some veterans that, especially the linebacker situation. Let's get us like one or two good linebackers to come into the port from the portal to the team right away. Let's get like one, maybe two defensive backs. We need defense. And I understand it. People are talking about the quarterback situation. The running backs are fine. Maybe get a receiver. Maybe. But, I understand why they're talking quarterback. Quarterback is a very important position for the air raid offense. And I, that's like I said, that could be a whole nother subject for another day. But looking at uh, Coach Clay Helton and what he's done with this team, the players that he brought in, the players that have been contributing that, that he brought in, I do – and I, I say this reluctantly because, like I said, we was having a debate over here on Discord. I think Coach Clay Helton is going to dip back into the transfer portal, and he may do it heavy. He may do it heavy. And a lot of guys that I like, you know, a lot of guys that I like that are on the team now, I want to say that they may not get a shot. But you know something? The more I think about that as well, these kids that are athletically gifted, they're going to get time on the field. The kids that, even though I I have a personal, you know, uh, I have a personal uh, 
attachment to some of these kids because I want to see them succeed. I think the cream just going to rise to the top, whether it be transfer um, transfer guys come in or not. Um, so I kind of have to lay low off of that, but I feel that defense definitely they're going to go defense. I would be really, I really would be surprised if they go quarterback, but then they're going to go defense. I would not be surprised with the linebacker situation because you know after Eldrick Robinson and um, I think Edwards, I can't remember his first name, Edwards. Ever since Edwards left, we've been lacking that linebacker heavily. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. We've been lacking that linebacker heavily, so. I can see us probably going back there. Even with guys like uh, uh, Justin Ellis and Dylan Springer. Justin Ellis and Dylan Springer are going to be two guys that we're going to be missing as well. So defensive line, I can see that happen as well. Um, I know we got some guys coming up that are, that's in the, you know in the, on the team now. It's probably going to try to make a difference. I'm all for that. But I can see where the veteran leadership or I can say leadership, but veteran experience probably would want to take a toll in trying to get, you know, trying to get somebody there that can actually do some pretty good pass rush. Now, you got to also understand, this is where I kind of differ because you got guys that, like a Latrell Bullard, you know, guys who came in right away and just made something happen. And a lot of these other guys probably could have did the same thing, just didn't have the opportunity. Let's not kid ourselves. A lot of these kids that are on the team now probably could be a difference maker if getting given the opportunity. We saw um, Ezra, uh, Archie. We just saw Archie do that. Archie came in and made a big difference in the game for uh, against uh, Appalachia State. So it's a it's a fine line that we're going to have to, uh, you know toe we're gonna have to toe a fine line and i'm not sure i'm not sure that it's really worth being too aggressive especially on the offensive side of the ball defense have you seen our defense our defense was really really rough and i think that we could be in a situation where we could go at defense very heavily not only just in the transfer portal, but just in recruiting in general. Now, I know I just said something crazy just then because we just recruited a tight end that's going to be on the team. We also recruited another quarterback earlier this season that committed. So we got two commits on offense so far that I can remember. And I know we got some other guys. We got some other receivers and whatever the case may be. We have some studs on offense already coming in. Not to mention the guys that are already here. So... Now, defensively, what are we going to be looking at? I I really don't know. But when we look at the transfer portal going to that point where we can um pretty much have a pick of players that's going to be there. Because there's a lot of players going. I mean, I'm looking down my Twitter timeline. It's just people, bam, 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 just flying to the transfer portal. Shout out to, once again, shout out to my Discord Guys in Discord, Eagle ninety five, phenomenal job. Just putting guys out there, back to back to back, guys who are out here that are going into the portal. That and he gives out information with ties to the to the coaching staff. So when you look at it from that standpoint, I get it. I get why the transfer portal is what it is, and I see why is a possibility that we may go and get certain guys, guys that I don't agree with. I mean, we got quarterbacks galore from all the guys we recruited last season. If we do go and get a quarterback, I'm not necessarily for it, but I understand it. Because when you got, got when you got guys like Lankford, you got guys like um, Tool, uh, Sigelski, Roseman. Also, when you have a guy like Fitzgerald, it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. So it's something that we're going to really have to look into with the quarterback situation. So when you look at a quarterback like the Michigan quarterback, which I finally got his name, Cade McNamara, that's the name, McNamara. So if you got a quarterback like him that's in the transfer portal and a guy that was recruited 
or looked at by a coach Clay Helton. I talked about the JT Daniels situation last year. Is it possible for something like that to happen? I'm not really sure. I mean, it's almost a stretch, kind of like the JT Daniels thing. But JT Daniels' situation was, in my opinion, I felt like it was more of a possibility than this one is. But like I said, he is he was Coach Helton's, you know, Coach Helton was looking at him at one point. You just never know. But I feel with the quarterback situation, like I said, this could be a whole nother episode because we got a lot of quarterbacks on the roster. I think I think we're going to stick with what we have at quarterback. As far as the transfer portal go, defense, probably another receiver, more primarily defensive line and linebackers. You, we're going to get some veterans in that in on the defensive side. We clearly know what the issue is with Georgia Southern. The offense was actually pretty nice. Offense was actually pretty nice. But defensively, eh, we just couldn't tackle anybody. We need like one or two guys that are just studs at tackling, bringing guys down. Don't play any games when, it, when you try to run to their side or run towards them or get close to them. They grab you, you're going down. So we need a couple more guys like that on defense at the least. And the other guys can be strung along and improve and get better. So, transfer portal is going crazy. It really is. I'm really interested to see how this is going to continue to play out. We're going bowling. We're going to find out what bowl we go to later on um, next week. We're really going to look into that because that's going to be exciting. Hopefully, I can get to that bowl game. But I think we're uh, we're in a really good spot right now. There's no reason to actually jump the gun and think, Oh, we definitely, definitely need to do this with this particular position. Now we know we need guys on defense. There's no, there's nothing about no, no bones about that. We'll see how everything else plays out, and we'll just go from there. If you like this commentary, hit the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Before you go, click that link down in the description for Bet US. Bet US. Click that link. Go down there and see if. You want to put wages on any of these games coming up, especially the bowl games. We're going to be talking about all of that. And put $100 down, you'll be able to put, you'll get a 125% sports bet bonus. That um, show is sponsored by BetUS. It's our affiliate over here. Click that link and check all the other links down there. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Woo! I made it through. My voice is starting to crack, but I do sound a lot better. I'm going to go nurse this voice a little bit more, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Thank you guys once again for the support, and I'll see you on the next episode. Guys, take it easy. Guys, be blessed. Peace.